So, so here I already uh, went through some basic um, procedures in the cell creation. I think it's time to understand what, what, when is not a good uh, to use the cell modules. So here, uh, common cell questions, uh, we can answer uh, how many viruses infect each cell. So for example, you can use the physical detection for the virus and the cell staining for the cells. So you can easily answer how many viruses infect each cells. And again, another example, quantify uh, gene expression level per nucleus, because we can also detect how many uh, vesicles are there inside each uh, nucleus. And also, we have the morphological statistic about the nucleus and the cells. So maybe uh, is the nuclear shape depends on the cell shape or is irrelevant. So you can have that calculation. Also, the protein expression level in cytoplasm and the nucleus and organelle motility within the movement cell, etc. So all these questions we can use. Uh, cell module to answer, but there are some cases which cell may not be the best choice. So if you are only interested in counting the cells, I think using the spot or service will be easier, will be much easier. If so if you are just interested in the total number of the cells on, in the image, so we suggest you just use a spot or services for easier uh, detection. And second, if there are too many cells in the image, uh, because uh, cell, if you use cells, you need more higher computational and memory uh, power. So if there are too many cells in the image, then probably it will take too much time or sometimes it will be easily uh, you know, there are some errors in the MRS, so it will not be easy for those kind of images. So more than maybe 200, 300, 400 cells, only hundreds of cells on the image, then maybe it's not, not a good way, not the best choice for our uh, analysis using a cell module. But uh, you can still try, you can still try. It's hard to say because it depends on the image and it depends on the complexities of the components as well as the spec of the PC. So this is just some uh, general rules. Uh, usually we see too many cells in the image, then cell is not easy to use. And the third one, I think this is one of the most important one. Uh, if you are standing lack of well-defined cell boundary, especially for 3D image, then uh, this cell detection may not be will not be successful. What I mean the uh, well-defined cell boundary, I can give you an example here in our demo images. Oh, this one, for example. We have a uh, well defined this uh, membrane standing, and this is 3D image. So as you can see, this membrane, these cells has a, a closing, has a closing at each cells. Like it is fully closed component in 3D space. So in this case, if we use the cell module to detect to detect the cell as well as the nucleus. Mm, let me try if I can just get it in a quick way. Okay. Object of subtraction. So I just want to show you how it looks like when it is closed and not closed. So here. Uh, Eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my nucleus, and I have my 
cell based on membrane, plasma membrane, and smallest diameter. I can probably use this one. Uh, let's say let's say fifteen membrane details. Eight. Just one. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to optimize this, but as you can see, if I have a, a close uh, structure or close standing, uh, the cell volume will be correctly uh, segmented like this. So each one is a each cell is a closed uh, volume segmentation like this. But in some cases, if your cell doesn't have the closed uh, standing, let me see if I can get some examples. For example, like this, uh, if I can turn off some of the channels. Like for example, if uh, there are some nucleus and some uh, cells standing like this, and instead of 2D image, this is a 3D. But if you are trying to use a cell to analyze the volume of these individual uh, cells in 3D space, you have to be careful about the, the closing here. So if I go to slice view, it, it, even though it looks quite uh, separated and uh, individual cells with the different color of standing on this image. But if you go to slice view and uh, try to look for the uh, single slice, uh, it's very important to make sure we have this uh, closing, closing of the structure at the uh, top and the bottom of each cell. So if there is no uh, obvious uh, closing, in, for example, if this is a membrane or cytoplasm uh, standing, if there is no closing of this structure, when you do the cell detection, this volume will be easily uh, out, out of this, the real uh, size, real area, real standing area, because if there is no closing in Mars, we'll think this is our all the uh, open uh, space and try to fill this space with the cell detection. So the whole volume will be looks like this, the whole uh, cylind cylinder uh, shape. So which is not the real volume of your cells. So it's very important to ensure there is a closing in your uh, membrane or cytoplasm uh, standing, just to let Imaris know that is the real uh, area of your cell standing and uh, you will try to create a segmentation based on that uh, specific uh, standing. So that is quite important for the cell uh, detection. So whenever you see that kind of uh, strange volume rendering, then that should probably due to the uh, lack of well-defined cell boundary. So in that case, the cell algorithm may not work well. Okay, so uh, I th think that is all the topic I want to cover for today's uh, sale session. Mm.